Is this a new thing? Instead of Hogs new CC coming in with the Mass yeah. Valks? Maybe I need to switch the Mass Valks CC with the hybrid because this is kind of cracked. All right, guys, well, let's check it out. Here we have the Birds of Thunder Cup BOT, the finals, and this is the best of two. So you won't be seeing one war, you'll be seeing two wars today. All right, guys, here we go. The start of War One of the best of two. Birds of Thunder Cup finals here. We have Entropy Gaming versus Lotus Gaming, and we have Alex, my god knows. Starting things off here with a queen, a charge, Lalo. We do have the uh, battle drill selected. I don't know if he's going to be switching that out, but let's see what kind of fancy, spancy charge he has in store. We're dropping a super wall break to open up this compartment. There is a single inferno, and we have an ice golem CC making their way over here. We have the king helping out with the padding, the funnel. He's gonna make his way into this first layer. All right, now we're down to two ice golems. The inferno is locked back onto the queen. We're dropping the freeze. We're raging up our queen now. One more ice golem to get through. We have the mono wrecking havoc on our king here. We're dropping the battle drill and the RC here on the bottom side to help out. All right, but we're dropping the uh, Invisi over here on the Queen to keep our Queen alive so she doesn't get roasted to toasted. She's going to completely forget about, about that single Inferno. Go straight for the Town Hall there. We're dropping another Invisi. We're racing up the Queen to get that Town Hall down quickly. And next will be the single Inferno. We have not used her ability. But the Battle Drill is going to come in for that Mono. And then here comes the Lalo in towards the 3 o'clock side with a bunch of Headhunters in. We're, set it. We're gonna pop the warden tome. Our loons are cruising through. Headhunter's coming in for the RC. RC is gone. Race Belt Tower has now been popped. And we have a dragon and a couple of loons coming out of the battle drill. Our loons are still cruising through. We're dropping a rage to rage up our loons to go in towards that scatter shot. Scatter shot fires away because it's all raged up as well. And our loons get destroyed here. No, it's gonna be a lower percentage. I say a lower percentage, but we're, we're at 73%, 74% right now. Our healers are just chilling there because there's nothing for them to heal. We have nine minions in our back pocket, but honestly, what is there that we can snatch? Maybe the army camp? No, they're gonna have to move up here. We're sending in a bunch of them for these, uh, this elixir pump. Elixir pump's gonna get taken out. We got the 76%, maybe the army camp too. 77% and a scatter shot fires away. It's gonna be a two star 77% from Alex knows to start things off for war one of the bot cup finals. The first attack is in for entropy and we have Irene coming in with the another super archer blimp Lalo here. We're sending in a bunch of loons first to pick off some of the defenses. Warden! through there he did not screw up in time we were waiting for it but uh our blunt makes it we're gonna drop it right over this wall here here comes the super archers we're gonna busy them up drop the double clone the rage drop it another busy here and it looks like they're gonna snatch that town hall with ease there is the tornado trap that did activate so we do not have to deal with that anymore but town hall will get secured the mono is down the multi inferno is down too big bombs galore here firing away and we're gonna get the race spell tower holy all right reen all right reen i see you with this archer takedown there oh my gosh all the value that he got we're at 24 percent of the base taken out here comes the king and the queen at the three o'clock side and making their way upwards Remember, he already invested the warden there, so we will, we will not have the warden for the rest of our Lalo here. And uh, the multi infernal enemy king and warden down there. Mm, kind of sketchy. Kind of sketchy there. All right, but the queen's going to pull up for the builder hut. Next will be the uh, expo. Ice Golem's going to freeze up that eagle just a little bit. We're sitting in the RC too, so we have... Oh my god, I was like, where is the king going? But he's just going to wrapping around, coming in for the gold storage. RC's going to pick off that expo. Next will be the multi inferno. We're sitting in a super wall break. One doesn't make it, and the other one is gonna just barely make it. Just barely make it, but it really doesn't matter because RC is gonna pick up this value. We're sending in the loons at the nine o'clock side in towards those Teslas. The scatter shot is still up. RC is gonna be low on health, so she will have to pop her ability here shortly. Expo's locked on. Big bomb appears. A bunch of skellies pull up. We need this one E Titan to come in and help out with the skellies. We had the ice golem being sent in, distracting those expos. 
Drag Rider coming in as well. Sprinkling a couple more loons at the outside to pick up the Archer Tower. And now we just have to deal with really this multi inferno on those expos. King still has the ability. Queen still has hers. We're picking up the, the uh, Builder Hut. King's pulling up for the expo. We're popping his ability. And he's just going to plow through with a bunch of skies appearing. But uh, I think our e is our e in there? Or she's gone? I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, she's in there as well, helping out with those skellies. Her aura just completely wipes them out. But man, 21 seconds left. Queen's gonna pop her ability, take out the expo. 17 seconds. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. And we have the gold sword still up too. 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six. Oh no! It's gonna be a time fail with more skellies appearing here. And Reen will be coming in with the two star 97% for entropy. But next attack is in for Lotus Gaming, and we have Nick in, and it looks like we're coming in with a Skelly Bat Donut. We have four invisies, we have a Skelly spell, and we have a Bat spell. So what are we gonna try to get here? Well, it looks like we're gonna try to get that Multi Inferno and that CC. We're dropping Skellies over here on the CC, and the Bat spell over here on the Multi Inferno. All right, we're perfectly placing those invisies. We're gonna snatch up the CC here shortly. Come on, keep working. One more busy being used, and there we go. We're gonna get the multi in front of the core. We're gonna snatch up that CC. So there we have it. We don't we don't have to worry about the CC anymore. But here comes the flame flinger over here at the nine o'clock side. Alright, Yeti's gonna come in, take out that archer or the, the wizard tower. We're sending in an ice golem to help out with the tanking for our queen keen's making his way in here comes the rc in for that mortar the wizard tower and that scatter shot keen had to pop his ability expo is locked onto her queen unfortunately but thankfully the town hall is the next we're popping the king ability he's plowing through coming in for the town hall big bomb appears oh no he gets revived but hello tornado trap so he's gonna get taken out here shortly and then the mono's gonna lock onto the queen probably but RC coming in for the enemy RC, and then here comes a Lalo. We still have the multi inferno on one HP in a dream. Yeti might take it out though. But here comes a Lalo in towards the three o'clock side. We're gonna haste him into the scatter shot. Multi inferno still up. We have head owners coming in for the enemy queen. We have the mono still wreck wrecking havoc though. Nothing is going towards that. Is the warden in range? No, warden is just barely out of range there. But here comes a couple more loons being sent in. Our loons might pass. No, they're. They're going forward here. Enemy queen is gone. Red bomb appears. We have this back in Tesla farm with the eagle firing her away. We are dropping a haste spell. A couple more minions being dropped to help with the cleanup. Yeti's taking out the cannon. And our loons are looking pretty good here. But the Tesla's going to start picking things off here. We have the mono still up here on the bottom side. 51 seconds left, but we still have a freeze in our back pocket. And it looks like Nick will be coming in with a triple for Lotus Gaming as well the warden he just has to be almighty look at him he's taking one for the team red bombs up here we're gonna freeze up this mono here this warden just wants all the glory to himself he just wants all the glory <laughs> and there we go nick coming in with a triple there for lotus gaming all right guys entropy is in next and we're gonna have a queen charge hybrid Let's go. Is hybrid still broken? Is hybrid really broken? That's the real question here. We're sending in a couple of giants. In okay. So we're coming in with our early king with a couple of giants to help with the tanking. Here comes the queen on the bottom side. We're waiting to drop those healers. So we don't have a healer swap. Expo is locked onto the king. We do have the phoenix locked on with the queen the king there so he's gonna make his way towards the scatter shot gonna have to pop his ability here shortly big bombs appear we're popping his ability now pulling up for the enemy rc that scatter shot compartment we're dropping the healers down since the queen is taking a little bit of dam damage and here comes the triple ice golem cc we're raging up our queen here she's pulling up for the expo ice golem number one makes his way over here comes the enemy king as well we're dropping i think th yeah this is our poison right yeah, I think we dropped our poison as well. Yes, we did. But we're dropping the busy over here on the queen. And we're going to snatch the town hall there. But, uh, oh God, I was going to say, these ice golems don't know where to go. They're going towards the 9 o'clock side, but they're going to come back to that queen. 
Enemy King is finally down. And now we have the triple black golden CC and we have the expo locked onto the queen here with the loon. I don't know where the queen's at. Oh, the death damage. The death damage. That, that was almost sus. But here we go. We are sitting in the hybrid here. We have the sea spirit at the nine o'clock side and we're going to straight full on send this hybrid in towards that multi inferno. The right cell tower as well with the eagle. We're going to drop an early heal spell and we're just slowly cruise through we had the mono wreaking havoc on some of our troops there i don't even know what's attacking to be honest but we popped the warden tome queen's still alive seal inferno is locked onto her but thankfully we still have her ability still left intact but we pop her ability race spell tower is gonna be dropped our hogs we still we don't have any hogs alive it's just miners here we're taking out the multi inferno we don't have to worry about the rage up multi inferno anymore scatter shot is firing away it's always this one scatter shot compartment always a scatter shot compartment that always causes a little bit of hassle we're sprinkling a couple of loons here to take out the cannon here comes some valks wait did he have mass valks okay so instead of hoggies coming out of the cc he has mass valks coming out of the siege barracks so they're gonna pick up all the cleanup on the side they're gonna come in for the scatter shot too is this a new thing instead of hogs gonna cc coming in with the mass valks and it looks like entry gaming will be coming in with a triple there which gives them the lead by percentage <laughs> all right here comes fluxian and we have a queen of charge mass hoggies all right what do we got going on here we have yeti over here on the bottom side we have the queen being dropped at three o'clock side and looks like we might be doing a little bit of funneling action but here comes the queen at three o'clock side we do have a send a couple of loons because we do pull a little bit of teslas mostly all the teslas we're sending an early blimp here and we're gonna blip out the multi inferno yes we do we have the ray spell being dropped we're pulling the cc a bunch of archers headed earth victory over to the queen oh we're good we're good here but already we take out the multi inferno we have the queen taking a little bit of damage from the archers expo's locked onto her we have the king being dropped on the bottom side pick off those ex ex extra buildings all right we're gonna pop the king ability he's gonna be pulling up for the wizard tower next to be the expo eagle shots fire away there queen is still looking alive with her ability still intact king's gonna get revived by the phoenix so hopefully we can take out this expo and uh expo is stays up there phoenix is gonna get picked up there by the enemy rc phoenix is gone queen's taking a lot of damage and then here we go we're just full sending the hog riders in and here we go race belt towers dropped the queen pops her ability seeking your mind appears we're dropping the busy over here in the gold store just to push our queen back in towards the town hall another single uh seeking your mind appears our healers rip our healers rip but looks like we will clutch up we will get the town hall taken out but the queen is living on a prayer a couple more hoggies being sent in for the scatter shot because somehow it is still up and running Expo's gonna fire away. Mana doing work. Our ward is gonna get taken out. We have a rage. We have a freeze still left up in our back pocket, but uh, we have no more hogs. We have no more hogs. No more hogs here. Queen's gonna get raised up. It's just gonna be down to her to pick up some percentage. And right now we're only at 65. They need percentage because if entropy comes in with a higher percentage or with a triple. Ooh, it's gonna be a good war. Another scene near mine. Queen is living on a prayer. Scatter shot fires away on the poor healers. We're down to one. Now we're down to nine. Scatter shot fires away. But uh, Expo takes out the queen. Scatter shot. Whack. Queen's gone. Diggy's gone. Archer's gone. We have a wizard over here at the nine o'clock side. 27 seconds left. And there we go. It's gonna be a two star 76% miva is in next for entropy and we got another queen charge of mass hogs we we're loving the hogs today like holy smokes all right but we're sitting in the blimp in for that scatter shot we are going to best a race spell so we're gonna pick up that scatter shot hopefully the enemy rc but she's over the wall there so she's gonna stay up we do pull a cc as well so we have a hound cc we had to get through but here comes the queen on the on the top side and we're gonna deal with the CC. All right, so we drop the poison. 
Hound is going to get popped now. A lot of puppies are going to surround our queen. And our unicorn's looking healthy. We're still good to go. We're still good to go. Queen's going to step up. And let's see what kind of pathing she takes. We do have two super wall breaks. Here comes the super wall break to open up this. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting wall break there. <laughs> here, here it comes again. Okay. It does open up that, I think. Yeah, that's open. We're dropping it busy. And our queen uses it. <laughs> OP and busy there. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised she went through that. Oh my god. Hey, it's all it's all calculated. It was all calculated there. But here comes the Yeti over here at the three o'clock side. We do have the RC and the King left to deploy. We're sending in a couple of loons on the Wither Tower in that Wither Tower, but they get smoked. They are gone. Queens is step up for the Rage Belt Tower. We have a Rage Up Multi and Expo there. We're gonna have to Rage Up Town Hall as well. And here we go. The Hog Riders are coming in. We're popping the Queen ability for that Town Hall and we activate the Tornado Trap. But an early, early warden tome. The race ball tower has now been dropped there. Big bombs appear. Mono is down. And now this, uh, oh, the raids of multi infernos. They're going to be nasty for our hoggies. They're going to turn them into bacon. They are gone. Our hogs are gone. Our queen is gone there too. They're popping the RC ability there. I think it was a too early of a warden, to be honest. But the king's going to get raged up here. The king's gonna get raged up here, trying to take out the scatter shots, and it's gonna be a low percentage. It's gonna be a low percentage coming in. But yeah, just that, that raised spell tower with the double multis. Ugh. I'm surprised people still do it. But we're at 21 seconds left. We're at two stars, 71% so far, 72%. All right, we need to at least get over this, uh, we're at 74. Still higher percentage than Lotus currently. And there we go. It's gonna be a two star 74% coming in from me, but alrighty guys, here we go. We have Agent 33 in next for Lotus Gaming, and we have a Zav E Titans. Here comes the warden walk here at the two o'clock side with a giant and a wizard right behind. We have a giant being sent in towards that archer tower there. And uh, let's see what kind of value we can get. We do have the flame slinger selected. Not sure we. Oh, he's gonna drop it right behind that warden there. Expo is locked onto the warden. I think we might be doing a little warden walk action in order to snipe the expo so our flame slinger can take out the town hall. All right, but the flame slinger is gonna take out the Tesla. Next, we'll be pulling up for that wizard tower. We're dealing with this uh, elixir storage there. You need to drop like a wizard or something to clear out the sequences. Alrighty, we're going to zap out the multi inferno in that race spell tower. Did a little bit of damage on that RC, and the warden is finally pulling up for that expo. Expo is going to be taken out. Maybe snatch up the enemy RC, but holy smokes, this flame flinger opening up all of this. <laughs> but here comes the queen, and making her way down towards the three o'clock side. We have a head hunter being sent in. We have the E Titans and the Ice Golem being sent in for the tanking. But we're going to come in towards that scatter shot compartment. Kind of an awkward split there with that wall in between. They're gonna make it the way back up around. We do have a jump spell in our back pocket that we can drop. Probably over here, I'm assuming. It gives access to the ego compartment and the mono compartment too. We'll see though. We have a couple of witches being sent here on the bottom side with a giant, and here comes the CC. We're raging up our troops here. Nope, we're gonna invest uh I think a super wall right there on the bottom side. Alright, super minions coming out of the CC. Our loons are cruising through. E Titans wrap back around. Ice Golem pops the freeze of the Eagle compartment in the multi mortar. Queen stepping up for the sweeper. We're coming back around. Here comes the super wall break, giving us access to the mono compartment there. And we still have our jump spell over here for the back end. All right, Tornado Trap appears. Bomb Tower is down. Mono is wrecking havoc. Do we have any E Titans still left up? Yeah, we do. We have two more E Titans. We still have the Queen. We have 55 seconds left. The only thing is time. We still have a lot of the base still left up. We have the RC to deploy. Ray spell tower has now been dropped. Raise up the multi inferno. Queen stepping up for the mono there with the free spell. And we're going to pop the flame flinger. We have a super dragon coming out. Taking a little bit of damage there with a couple of loons. All right, King already used his ability. RC coming in for the multi inferno. All right, we still have a swag jump spell, really. 
still have a dra Swax jump spell. Free spells still left in our back pocket. A bunch of skellies appear. Come on, E Titan, pull over. Help out the RC there. We're popping the RC ability. Scatter shots down. 18 seconds left in the clock. And I don't think we have enough time. We're at 13 seconds. 12, 11, 10. Our RC is gone, and it's going to be a two star command from Agent. Jump the witches! Jump the witches! All right, it's going to be a two star, 87% from Agent. Troya is in next for Entropy Gaming, and we have another Queen Charge hybrid in. All right. We have the Siege Barracks selected. No battle drill today. And let's see. Let's see what we got here. Where are we at? It's going to be an interesting charge. That Town Hall is kind of nasty. Nasty spot there with the mana on the Poison Spell Towers. So, uh... Our queen's gonna, gonna have to be OP here. Oh, well, there we go. We're dropping the queen here at the nine o'clock side. Sneaky over there for the ele dark elixir pump. Queen's gonna step in for this compartment. There is the army camp. So we're dropping a giant and a wizard over there behind for the wizard tower to make sure our queen steps in. All right, but we're gonna pick that up. Queen's gonna step in for the expo next. We're sitting in a hoggy there to pick up any types of traps, I'm assuming. Maybe, probably, hopefully, Pull the CC? No, we're gonna pull the poison spell tower first. Queen's gonna be stepping up in there. She's gonna get slowed down just a little bit. We're gonna deal with the mono here shortly. Alrighty. Mono. My goodness, this thing's just overpowered. Especially with them if there was a rage spell tower. Oh my Atlanta. But already Queen's to step up for the town hall. We're gonna pop her ability. Rocket loons and super minions coming out. And here comes the poison spell, the other one. So we had two poison spells. We have the Giga Poison. It's just Poison Galore. And oh no, the healers get ripped there. The Super Minions are firing, firing away. The Mono as well. Alrighty, the Mono is down. And here we go. We're sitting in the hybrid in towards the Scattershot compartment with that enemy RC. RC is going to pull up there for the top defenses. Kind of an awkward split there. RC Dean comes back in. Yes, she does. So we're coming in for that enemy RC. She gets taken out. We're going to freeze at the Multi Inferno. Queen is somehow still alive. But the Seal Inferno is locked onto the King. He's going to get taken out, but he's going to get revived by the Phoenix there. He's working on the outside to make sure our troops go in towards the core. But the Miners, the Miners here. We're going to pop the Warden Tome. We need this Multi Inferno down. Our Queen's gone. Uh-oh. Both Multi Inferno still up. We're dropping the Heal Spell over here to the scatter shot and that Bomb Tower that's about to go off. Alrighty, Big Bomb appears. Skellies are appearing as well. Miners are still up. We have the CC Hawk still up. All right, take out the cannon, take out the archer tower. Next would be the cannon. And we're still cruising through. We're still cruising through. We still have the RC ability here. We're to pop it here shortly. A bunch of skellies to appear. Oh man, nothing's going in for the multi infernos. They're like invisible. Oh, RC comes back. Diggy's gonna set up the multi inferno. Builder Hut just firing away on our poor RC. Expo stays up though. No. So we're coming back for the expo. Diggy's gonna help stun that up. And we still have this one multi inferno in that Tesla. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close one. It depends. But I don't think Diggy's gonna come in time. Diggy's so slow behind the RC. So she's gonna get zapped there. Yep, she's gone. Diggy's gonna come in. Oh no, the multi inferno is still full health there. Oh, Phoenix. No, we are at four seconds. We're at four, four seconds. But this is good percentage. This is very good percentage compared to the Lotus Gaming percentages there. So Troya will be coming in with a two stars, 96%. But the final attack is in for Lotus Gaming. They need to triple because they are currently down on percentage here. And we have Stana coming in with the uh, Queen of Charge. We just have Draggies galore. We have dragons, baby dragons, Inferno baby dragons. No, yeah. Wait. What the world? All right, but here comes the queen charge here on the bottom side. We're going to recall her here on the bottom side. I'm going to yoink her and put her back over here at the nine o'clock side. All right, we're doing a little funnily action. I didn't even see the recall spell at first. I didn't see the recall spell at, at, at first. Here comes the baby dragon over here on the gold mine. Queen's gonna pick off these outside buildings. Next would be the cannon. 
And here comes the baby dragon on the builder hut. Let's say like we're gonna try to force the queen in towards the tunnel compartment. Scatter shots are gonna be fine away. We do have two freezes there for one of the uh, sweepers, I'm assuming. And here we go. We had the dragons and in infernal baby dragons coming in with the loons towards the scatter shot compartment. We're dropping a skill over here on the steel inferno for distraction. And the question is, queen is gonna come in and help out and take out this town hall. But there is a single inferno. We have quite a bit of spells still left up. Ray spell tower has been dropped. We're gonna rage up the queen. And we have one dragon actually help it out take out the town hall. Dragon's gonna pull up for that single inferno. Seal inferno is down. And here comes the CC. Triple eyes going to CC. Inferno baby dragon clutches up the mono there. We still have the multi inferno and the ray spell tower here on the back end though. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, King is doing work on the three o'clock side. He's gonna be picking off some of those defenses. He is paired up with the Phoenix, so he will get revived here shortly as soon as he dies. Queen didn't make, get made frozen by the Ice Golem. She's back alive and she still has her ability. We have two Rages still left. We have a Freeze still left in our back pocket. But here comes the RC in for that multi inferno. Ray spell tower is gonna drop here shortly. We're sending Rocket Loons over there on the top side for the cannon, pulling a little bit more Teslas. And RC coming in for the multi inferno. That's gone. Next will be the Builder Hut. We have a Super Dragon and Loons coming out of the CC. Popping the RC ability. We're freezing the enemy RC. Scatter shots firing away, though we missed the freeze on that. It's raged up. Does it get taken out? Oh, fires away. RC's gone. But we set the Queen ability. We have a Super Dragon doing work. And it's looking pretty good. We have 28 seconds left. 28 seconds left. Unless something crazy happens there. But there's no air targeting really i mean tesla uh oh oh no the super dragon's still full health we're good we're good we're swagging some uh spells here in the core of the base and there we go the queen's gonna pop her ability and stana will be coming in with a triple four lotus gaming with the two swagged rage spells it's a do or die situation entropy needs to come in with a triple to win war one Lantos or Eric is coming in with the queen charge hybrid. Oh gosh. Hybrid has been looking pretty tough lately. It's been looking pretty tough lately. But here we go. Where are we going to start? Where are we going to start? Three, two, one. And we're setting the sneakies for the gold mine in that elixir pump there. We have the queen being dropped at the nine o'clock side. Sitting in a giant in the, in the king there for the cannon. So an early funnel like we've been seeing. Early king funnel that we've been seeing quite a bit. We're sprinkling a couple of loons there for the archer tower. We do pull a Tesla there. And archer tower is not going to get taken out. Sitting in another loon for that. That's going to get taken out. And queen's have to step up for the Tesla. We're popping the king ability. We're dropping the healers there for the queen. Sitting in a cocoa loon to pulling tough the traps. And then here comes the triple eyes going CC, making their way over to that king. King's gonna get taken out. He's gonna get re re revived by the Phoenix there. Rage Blood Tower has been dropped. Rage of the Multi Inferno. And our king's gone. Phoenix is gonna be chasing those ice golems. And there we go. Two minutes and nine seconds left on the clock. And now we have to wait five to ten business years for this ice golem CC to get taken out. But we're not gonna wait for the queen to take out the town hall. Here comes the hybrid. We're sitting in the siege barrack at the top side there, near like 12:30, and we're full setting the hybrid in towards that multi inferno. We're dropping an early heal, and then here we go. Queen's to step up for the town hall. We're dropping the freeze of the town hall in that mono there because it was wrecking havoc on our queen. Early warden tome has been popped. Well, looks like our hoggies are still alive. Looks like our miners are still alive. And then here comes the race spell tower. We're dropping and then busy over here on the queen to pick up that mono there. Okay. We're dropping a freeze over here on the multi inferno on the enemy queen. We're raging the hybrid here with the heal spell being dropped as well. So we're healing. We're raging. We're making sure we can get through this back end compartment because we have the multi inferno still up. That is down. Enemy queen is down with the help of the lizard. Scattershot is firing away. Our queen still has her ability. Our RC still has her ability. And this is looking like a triple. This is looking like a triple here. RC coming in. We have the Mass Valk CC again. Holy smokes. Okay, maybe I need to switch to the Mass Valk CC. Maybe I need to switch to the Mass Valk CC with the hybrid because this is kind of cracked. These Valks are just storming in, taking out all the outside defenses there. And there we go. 
with the swag queen ability with the swag rc ability lalantos will be coming in with the triple and the victory over lotus gaming for war one 12 to 12 93.4 percent to 88 percent